Government works. Maybe I'll start this as a new series. The USGS, what is their role in American society? The USGS is an odd one out there. It's one of the oldest, most stable governmental organizations. Oddly, through all of the churn we have seen due to politics, not reason, the USGS has been left fairly intact. This agency, I was first kind of introduced to because they were funding research done by Exxon on the nation's geology, the nation's groundwater, the nation's aquifers was one aspect, but this whole study by Exxon Production Research in Houston, Texas, that I was introduced to in the very early 80s, had been going on for decades. And what this is, is the USGS paying Exxon for geographic data, geospatial data, as to mineral content of our planet. So this USGS thing is important. In the, the fact that it survived, its name hasn't been changed to go hide something. Now its websites have been restructured a little bit, but not too much. The data sets that are behind the USGS, remember this is GIS data. I've done videos on uh, <laughs> data, big data. Geospatial data, GIS, Geographical Information Systems data, geospatial, because now we're tying data to a location in the universe instead of a location down the street. We tie it to a time common to man in the way we measure and talk about it that makes us realize and understand how old the things around us are. So. USGS has records by foot of depth of minerals, locations, quantities, something called abundance. Now there's isotopic or elemental abundance, how much of something is in the dirt. This is the nuclear game. There's a pinch of uranium or a pinch of cesium or two pinches of lithium in the dirt in specific areas across the globe. So the USGS, United States Geological Service, is one of the largest data holders on the planet and it's kept across universities and research centers across the globe. It's in a common line, common language of science, spoken in many tongues. So USGS funded Exxon production studies that map the groundwaters and pollution in those groundwaters is documented has it gotten worse or better since 1970s, 1980s data was collected? Somebody knows. Because people study this. People do this for a living. And it's not good TV. So the USGS was a month behind the U.S. military going into Afghanistan. You understand why? Right? You, you put the tie of global mineral resources and mineral wealth against what the USGS is mapping, against where our corporate interests, our global corporate interests fall. Who, who's going to get it first? The oligarchs of Russia? The oligarchs of China? I hate that word. The corporate interests of China? The corporate interests of America? Or will it be a global interest? Oh, wait a minute, there's this thing called the United Nations. Should that work 
Should that body work? No, let's go create sub things under it. We need separate warring bodies. So we'll create uh, oh, the USGS. So deep sea exploration has been going on. It's been subtle. What has been shown, and you can find the YouTubes, is amazing sea structures and animal life. But while they're going along filming and photographing that, they're taking hard samples of the ocean's floor. And somewhere, that information's going to be handed to somebody so they can launch a car into space. Is that how this works? So the USGS, federally, that's my tax dollars. I paid a bunch of them. We could go there too, you friggin'. So, yeah, human rights, equal rights, those terms underlie white rights, gay rights, native rights. The Native Americans, we owe as much as some of the people we're fighting for in the Middle East. The USGS has helped us realize some of that. That organization is ours. That information is ours. It does reside in universities, but you have to go there to find it. And you have to begin an education that might bias your opinions on some of the bigger world. So don't do that. That's why this university I'm promoting is here. Go study. Be you. The USGS, what they do. Here's another interesting note about the USGS. Here in Portland, Oregon, beautiful place. The USGS did a study of moss and leaching in the area. They took it back to wherever they do those studies, which is colleges and universities or federal research labs with the trillions of dollars of resources that our tax dollars have purchased for somebody. And from that, somehow the information got back to the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality and some actions began. And a glass factory that was basically ignoring what they knew about their factories in Europe and the pollution controls there and just laissez-faire profits here in Portland. A group stood up, they're out on Facebook and helped raise awareness about that situation. But the underlying problem, the root problem of information flows about how the world really works that underlying problem is still there. The media can't talk about it. This is an exciting press. This is maybe coffee in the morning, so long talk. Hope you took something from it or pass it on, but this is our stuff, <laughs> idiot. It's cool, too. Hummingbirds.